This is the solution to written homework 30. So the natural domain of this is that we need to solve we need to solve the inequality x squared minus 11x plus 24 is greater or equal to 0 because the only thing that could go wrong with this is if there is a negative argument inside of that even radical inside that square root. So we need to solve this. So the first step is to ask, well, what is the natural domain of the inequality? So it's interesting that we want to find the natural domain, that in finding the natural domain of this expression, we have to first find the natural domain of this inequality. Well, this inequality uh, is defined for all x. you could plug any x into this inequality that you want. That doesn't mean that it will be true for any value uh, of x, but the inequality can be evaluated at any value of x. Okay, <clears throat> next step. We want to uh, zero and simplify So nicely, there's already a 0 on one side. And to simplify, we need to factor. So this quadratic factors two numbers whose product is positive 24 and whose sum is negative 11. How about uh, x minus 3 and x minus 8? So one side is 0, and the other side is simplified by factoring. The next step is that we want to solve the corresponding equation. So the equation we want to solve is x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 8 is equal to 0. And the solutions to this equation are obviously 3 and 8. The next step is to make the sign chart. So we found no breaks in the natural domain, so there's nothing to plot there. And then we found two solutions. So we found one of them to be 3 and the other one to be 8. Within each of these regions, we can choose a point. So how about 2 and 4 and 9? And so 2, 4, and 9. Now we're going to plug these values, these green values, into the left-hand side of this inequality. So we're going to plug them into there. <coughs> and we're going to evaluate for sine, for SIGN. So if we plug in negative 2 into those two factors, then we get negative and negative. If we plug in 4 into those two factors, we get positive and negative. And if we plug in 9 into those two factors, positive and positive. And then the overall sign, negative and negative, is positive, positive and negative is negative, positive and positive is positive. So we made our chart. And now we can make our conclusion. We want, in this case, the positive regions. The reason why we want the positive regions <coughs> is because of this. That says greater or equal to 0. So we want this left-hand side to be positive. <coughs> 
or 0. Uh, so the answer to the question is the two positive regions in the sign chart. So the answer is negative infinity to 3, including 3, union 8 to positive infinity. For part B, for part B we have two requirements. <coughs> uh, we need uh, to solve three x minus five is greater or equal to zero. So that is necessary because. Uh, 3x minus 5 is in an inside of an even radical. And we will also need x to not be 10. So x can't be 10 because of the denominator. So solving this, <coughs> this is 3x is greater or equal to 5. So x is greater or equal to 5 thirds. Uh, and this is and x is not 10 and x is not 10. So 10 is greater than 5 thirds because 10 is 30 thirds. So the, the, the answer is <coughs> 5 thirds to 10 union 10 to infinity. So <clears throat> this can be seen visually in the following kind of way. So this this line represents x not 10 This x is anything but 10. So it's like the whole line, but you delete 10. And then this condition, x greater or equal to 5 thirds. Well, 5 thirds is about right here. So we'll take that point, so it's included. And we need both a red and a green point. <coughs> so the answer is <coughs> we can sweep, and everywhere we have both a red and a green point is what the solution is. So starts here at 3 fifths, or 5 thirds. And we get all these points, all these points, all these points, and then suddenly we lose 10. 10's out. And then we have all of these points. And that <coughs> is that.